Hey guys, what it is, what it is, what it always is. It's your boy back for more inspiration. And today's topic is heavy thoughts with Mikey. You see, today I went on a little ride down to a job interview. Got a little anxious, got a little worried, got a little nervous, got a little shaky. That was before I left. <laughs> so after the interview, I did some YouTube blogging and got some comments back. Got the usual funny stuff from the boy. But I got a very interesting comment from Cognitive Burnout. Shout out, bro. Very interesting indeed. He asked Mikey, or he states what Mikey stated, I don't want a job in the real world. And he thought, hmm, that's interesting. Something I'll have to think about. Got me thinking about it too. Why would Mikey say he doesn't want a job in the real world? Got me thinking about a lot of things. You see, I have a very analytical mind. When I hear something uh, manually stimulating, it's like a jackhammer going into my head and the thoughts flood. You see, I can't answer a question somebody has without having five answers. I break down everything and break it down and break it down and break it down. It drives people nuts sometimes. Can't help it. It's my bipolar. So when he came up with that, I thought, very interesting. Why doesn't Mikey want to work in the quote-unquote real world? Well, let's break it down. Mentally ill style. And that's what I got cooking. You see, I, in the mentally ill world compared to the quote-unquote normal work world, most people have difficulty at jobs. Okay, let's throw that out there. Most people have difficult times. A lot of people have jobs where they get depressed because they have so much work, so much to do, so much to worry about. They have to work so many hours, they have to go to work. Multiple jobs sometimes to make ends meet. And they say boo-hoo to the mentally ill. Pull up your bootstraps, get a damn job and like it. So, why doesn't Mikey want a job in the real world? I'll give you a daily example. When I go to bed at night, I don't sleep very well. I get to bed about 2 o'clock because my brain is going a thousand miles an hour till then and I have to take a sleep aid, <coughs> Ambien, to even sleep more than three hours a night. The job I applied for today would require me to get up at 6 in the morning to get there and be ready to roll on time. Uh, punch that time clock. Now most people say, okay, got to go to bed earlier. Early to rise gets the prize. Well, when I'm on Ambien, early to rise, unless I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock at night, means I'm stumbling out of bed and into that darn shower. Now most people get up, they might have to hit the alarm a couple of times, but they get up, they get in the shower, they get dressed, they go to work. Mikey struggles out of bed 
into the shower, get ready to roll. Now, another difference in the day of a mentally ill bipolar dude, as such as your boy. I get on that darn road and nobody can do anything right for me because I'm either depressed and I don't want to get out of bed in the first place, so I don't want to go out and fight the crowd. Or I'm manic and I swear at every person on the road because nobody can do anything good for me. Now before I get to work, I'm already anxious. I'm already worried, I'm already nervous. The interesting thing is, and I used to think about this all the time, my ninth month, my second year on a job, I'm still just as nervous going to work as I was the first day. You see, in the mind of a mentally ill person, you got a lot more cooking than what you gotta do at work that day. You're worried about, am I going to get sick on the job? Is somebody going to yell at me today? Is somebody going to tell me they're, that I'm stupid, like happened to me a few years ago? Because I had a mental lapse. Am I going to lose my memory and not remember what the hell I'm doing at the moment, like happened on my last job? Am I going to have the energy because of all those other things? You are low on energy unless you're highly manic, then you got tons of it. But if you're not, generally, you're dead tired by the time you walk in the door to start work. So most people, as I've said, get through their day. They do the job, they go get themselves some need to lunch time, if they got the time, they go home and hang out with the family you need or head to the office. They get on that YouTube and say hi to the homies or, or Facebook, probably, maybe YouTube. Read a book, watch a few shows, hit the hay, go to bed, get some good rest. Your boy here used to not eat because I was afraid of stomach issues. I would work in 105 degrees until 5.30 at night without eating a single morsel of food. So we got the no sleeping, the waking up early in a drug haze, the anxiety, the worry, the stress, the uh, shaking, the irrationality, the irritability, the memory loss on your way to work, <laughs> that's heightened while at work. Somehow you get home. You finally get something to eat and then you go to bed for a three hour nap. You get up in time to hang out for a few minutes with the uh, kids, dealing with the chaos in my house, of a mentally ill house, and then back to try to get back to sleep. As you can see, this mentally ill, real world working experience for your boy is not an easy one. Question answered, why don't I want a job in the quote unquote real world? So, what kind of world does Mikey want to work in? Ta-da! You guessed it. Mikey wants to work in the virtual world. Why does Mikey want to work in the virtual world? I don't have to get out of bed at a specific time. I don't have to get out on that darn road and fight with people and flip them off and wonder if I'm going to get shot. I don't have to get the high blood pressure that I used to always get. I don't have to worry about the boss yelling at me and telling me I'm stupid, which I used to get. I don't have to worry about forgetting the steps to a new part of my job like I used to get. I don't have to worry about whether I'm getting everything done that day 
on the job without ramifications of verbal abuse, which I used to get. I don't have to worry about working with other people in complications because of stigma of mental illness, which I used to get. You see on here, I can come out and broadcast myself in a virtual anonymity. Now my wife is on the other side of the quote unquote real world situation. She was on the t she's on the top, I was on the bottom. She loves the real world experience. She's been a manager. She's been on top of the world. She's told people what to do. But she never does look down on the mentally ill, which is awesome. Work is white. <laughs> but she says she would rather deal with people in a real world situation. And she can't, can't understand how I could like to get online and broadcast my life to the world. She would rather do it to people that she knows and are sitting in front of her. The thing that people, quote unquote, normal people need to understand about the mentally ill is that a lot of us are introverts. A lot of us need to do things on our own time. We need the animativity. Online, I'm the puck. I made your mic. In the real world, I'm Michael, and it's yes, sir. We'll do it right now. No, sir. I haven't done it yet. Please forgive me. See, in the virtual world, I can get up when the ambient allows me to get up. I can do my blogs and bust out my things on my time when I feel comfortable in my own house. I can hide in the corner. I can stay in bed. No bosses come and yelling at me. I can do what I want to do or even what I have to do under my own terms. And see, in the quote unquote real world jobs, I at least was smart enough to know Mike, he needs to work by himself. So I had a lot of delivery jobs. Yes, I had a four-year, that's a four-year college education. Very smart guy. But couldn't do the office work environment because Mike is too claustrophobic. Another one of my joys. So I would go out and deliver on my own, be my own boss, basically, do my thing. But the problem is there was always a boss to answer to, and they weren't always nice. So Virtual World Mikey is here for you. I reach out my arms. Please, I want to log in the virtual world. I want to work only within the virtual world where I can bust out my strengths and limit my weaknesses. That's my best answer, cognitive burnout. The quote-unquote real-world working experience is too much. I've gotten too old, too manic, too bitter, and had too many issues especially with my uh, meltdown three years ago. That's why I tried to get on the disability. Couldn't do it. So I'm trying to find new avenues to get her done. Peace, love, and respect, guys. Hope you're all well. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're trying to figure out how to find what makes you tick. And maybe even achieve some of your dreams. Shout outs where needed. Special shout out, cognitive burnout. Thank you, my boy. Good topic.
All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.